Before we even get started, you ugly motherfuckers ain't finna be mocking me while I'm on motherfucking stage. Okay, okay, so we got a new show on Now That's TV, and it's Jessica Dine Presents The Mint. Okay, you guys, so this is The Mint, episode, um, no, this is The Auditions, part one, okay? This is The Mint. What's going on, you guys? Uh, come on in, child. Hey, look here, y'all, so... Jessica Dime and Light Skin Keisha Girl, <laughs> they got a new show out here, and it's it's looking like it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Well, anyway, so basically, it's I guess it's kind of like a play off of Jocelyn's Cabaret, but instead, Jessica is taking the girls out of the strip club, and she wants them all to have you know dreams and aspirations, but overall. She wants them to get out. She says that people, you know, they ask her all the time, honey, how you doing, Big Jess? How you doing, girl? What you doing these days? And she says she don't dance no more. So she want to put girls on and give them an opportunity, you know, to work on, you know, maybe um, some dream they may have. It's older women here. It's uh, younger women here. And I think heaven is in here, <laughs> Do y'all know heaven from the Academy? I think that's heaven. I'm going to put a, I'm going to post a picture on my community wall when I end this live and y'all let me know, is that heaven? I can't show her picture because all the bitches is naked. So I had to find the ones that had some, some type of, you know, clothes on for the motherfucking show. But it is about, but the, but the, the funny thing about it is it's a little confusing because they're stripping. You got them dancing. They popping it for position. Okay. They popping it and pose swinging for position, but then you want them to leave the game. Okay. You're trying to convince them to leave the game. So that's where it gets a little confusing for me because if they all here and they all ready to, they all dancing and y'all got them dancing for certain competitions to move to the next level. Uh, like, I feel like dancing shouldn't even be, they shouldn't get judged on dancing. If you're about to take them out the club for lack of better uh, reasoning, but this is one of the young ladies. This is an older lady. She said, Jessica said, you want to get out the game? You know what you, what you finna do with your life? How long you been dancing? Baby. She says she been dancing for over 20 years. She says she wants to be the number one techno DJ in the world. And kudos to you, bitch. AJ number the number. I think you can do it, bitch. I think you can do it. Now, she is a really good dancer for her, um, you know, for her to be so seasoned. Uh, and then she's a big woman. But she got up there, okay? And she got out there. So then Jessica, I guess Jessica eventually got bored. <laughs> and somebody said, bitch, we need, we need the bitches to start fighting. So Jessica and light skin Keisha just start upping it. They just start getting irritated at the bitches. Like we need something new. Keisha talking about we need something new. I need what? What are y'all doing? Well, okay, okay. So what are you? They're dancers. They're strippers. <laughs> like what do you want them to be, girl? You hire y'all did an audition for a bunch of strippers to take them out of the game. So the, the whole show is a catch 22 and it actually don't fully make sense. <laughs> like It don't fully make sense, but we're going to ride with it and we're going to see how it go. Cause you know, motherfucker love a good fight. You think it's heaven? I think it's heaven from Academy. I think it's her. So anyways, so the girls start going back and forth. The one girl, she talking about how she got a sugar daddy. And um, so everybody like, well, then, bitch, if you got a sugar daddy and you got all this and you got all that, what are you here for? 
what's she here for, Ike? Okay. So the other girl challenged her. She was like, well, bitch, you know, what are you here for? And uh, boom, boom, cow, cow. So Jessica Nim was like, well, what's going to happen if the man dies? So the girl was like, shit, I'm a part of his policy. I'm a part of his finances. So if anything happens to him, I get paid. So they was like, okay, okay. So this girl right here was like, but bitch, we still want to know why the fuck you here if you got a sugar daddy and you got so much money already. Because the girl did come in and saying she got money, boom, boom, cow, cow. Oh, I found heaven with some clothes on. Y'all, is this heaven from Academy? Is that her in a blonde wig, bitch? I think that's heaven. <laughs> hey, everybody trying to get over there to Zeus. I know that's right, heaven. I'm glad she's doing something else with her with her opportunities and shit. Because y'all know over there at the Academy, they, baby, anyways. So this one right here in the military girl gets into it. And they was telling her, you might not want to fight with the military girl. She from the military. You know, she probably whoop your ass. She said, bitch, I'm from the trenches. I ain't worried about no bitch from no military when I'm born and raised from the trenches. And that shit, I, I like how she has said that, though. I have felt that in my spirit when she has said, bitch, I'm from the trenches. I don't give a damn. So light-skinned Keisha was like, well, then what's up? <laughs> they were like, we need something to pop. Because, and one thing I did like that Jessica Dimes said is that for her show, well, I guess she said now that's TV or for her show. Now it's three rounds. <laughs> shout out to a cutoff time. And, and I want to give a shout out to uh, us over here because I feel like that um, they've been listening to the doll. And I'm just like, it's too violent over there. And now that TV, y'all got to pull it back a little bit. I mean, the violence, somebody could really like get injured, like really like critically injured. But um, so Jessica said, y'all got three rounds. So you can you can do three rounds now and then that's it. After three rounds, your ass go home. And I did respect and like that because at the end of the day, everybody know these new uh, reality shows that's out, people want to see a little fighting. They want to see some arguing or something, bitch. You can't be no motherfucking snooze. Somebody going to have to get into it. But that's just natural human reaction. When you're around a bunch of strangers, eventually somebody going to get into it, child. Somebody going to get into it. So Keisha was like, what's popping? <laughs> Everybody ready to go at this point. They done seen all these women. They done asked them how long they've been dancing. They done did this and they had all the girls dance, had all the girls compete against each other. So now they ready to get a fight started. So they like egging on a fight. Mostly, to be honest, mostly it was Jessica Dimes. Mostly Jessica was egging it on, but this girl kicked the military's ass, honey. Now we don't know anybody's name yet because this is only the auditions and they didn't, they didn't like put their name up there for us to remember. So, um, but girl, this girl beat the shit out of little military, snatched her wig. The wig came off so quick. You could tell the little girl. And then the little girl said, <laughs> Cause she's so little. She looks so young. She was like, yeah, my sugar daddy. And she said, don't you know what I drive? I drive a challenger, bitch. Now a challenger is a nice car, but bitch, everybody just saw hollering. Cause it's like, bitch, you know, she was like, do you know what I drive? Bitch, we were waiting for that bitch to say, I got an Aston Martin, bitch. I got the, oh, <laughs> The square box, 120K G wagon. Like, bitch, I ain't know what the hell she was finna say. And she, but I do respect the fact that she said she want to make her own money. She want to come out here and, and do something too. I do respect that because she did admit that, you know, she is trying to get her a little piece of fame, you know. So it is what it is, you know. Yeah, you know, she got this and that. And I'm not here to say I fully believe everything she was saying. Because, you know, like, youngsters lie sometimes. You know, you're 21, 22. You're trying to be impressionable. You're trying to impress everybody. And I don't know. She just, it, it, especially when that wig came out. And, like, the hair told the story. Like, when the wig come out, the, <laughs> the hair tells the story. And they get her wig ripped off. Don't have, it ain't fucked up under there. 
Some some bitches really got them some nice, neat braids under there. Some bitches got long hair under their wig. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say when a wig come off, it tells the story. But um, girl, when they be having a mouthful of blood, all I be thinking is, please just go run and rinse your mouth out real quick. Just grab some motherfucking Listerine real quick. I'm in the military. They don't teach you to fight. They teach you how to shoot. Okay, Lakia. Because <laughs> they were saying, don't fuck with her. She from the military. So old girl was like, oh, don't nobody give a fuck. But uh, shout out to the military anyway. But girl, don't y'all be wanting them to go put a little Listerine in their mouth or something. It's just like the blood. And then and then they move on. I just be feeling like your breath stank. You got blood still residue in your mouth. Like, go take a minute. They, they see you just had a fight and you won. Go rinse your mouth out, bitch. Freshen up. <laughs> bitch, is something wrong with me that I be wanting the girls to freshen up after a fight? Bitch, okay. Bitch, straight, born and raised in the hood. But, bitch, I'm so bougie. Okay, can we freshen up? <laughs> bitch, okay, that's what I'm telling you. You are not your circumstances. You are born who you gonna be in your life. Because, bitch, I have a real bad OCD, bougie side, bitch. And I remember, bitch, growing up. Bitch, we lived around all the red dirt, bitch, just... And girl, I used to be outside sweeping the fucking red dirt, bitch. I've always been like that. Just neat, bitch. Neat, okay? But anyway, so, yeah, I thought that, um, okay, so then it's this other girl on there. Her name is Purple Girl. Purple Girl got all the bitches jealous. That's the only girl name I know because everybody kept calling her name. Purple Girl, Purple Girl, Purple Girl. And Purple Girl bad I ain't gonna lie her body bad the bitch fly as fuck the bitch got a cold ass tattoo now i've seen bitches with butterflies on their ass and the shit be smudged out like an old prison tattoo from 1981 but bitch this girl's tattoo on her ass it's kind of not all the way on her booty if it, it starts at the top and then it falls at the bottom of her butt but girl, when I tell you her body banging, her tattoo banging, the bitch got face. I mean, she do got some big ass eyes, but the bitch do got face. But the bitch had on this big old ass synthetic ass fucking wig, bitch. I was like, bitch, you was doing it. You was doing it all the way down to the flow. To we start seeing the shine. And the heaviness of that big ass synthetic wig, bitch. Bitches be having booties. Bitches be having titties. Bitches be snatched BBLs. And bitches be having on plastic wigs. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you just have to wear a synthetic wig to make it through, okay. Don't wear that hoe no longer than two, three days. But don't go so gaudy with it. Like, wear a short bob or something. You know, if if you're trying to hide the fact that it's a synthetic wig, if you just don't give a fuck, then fuck it. <laughs> but some synthetic wigs look like party city wigs. That's why you want to get a synthetic wig that at least costs a little money. Like, don't be that damn cheap. I mean, unless you have to be like, like you know, bitch, it, it, you do be some hard times sometimes. You want to keep up with the fashion. I get it. But some of those synthetic wigs do look like Party City wigs because they get to the shine and then looking all plastic and shit, bitch. Okay. This young lady right here had a fight too. She ran up on this girl who wasn't even trying to fight her. And I can't show y'all because they were butt ass naked. But the girl took her by that motherfucking braid. <laughs> And she swung her little bony ass around. And I think she broke her finger. She kept saying, I broke my finger. She broke my finger. She said, get that bitch. She broke my finger. And Jessica said, fuck that. Ain't nobody getting her for you. You get a bitch. <laughs> that, shit, that shit was funny as hell. But Jessica, I think that overall, you should have gave the bitches the game on how to get this money and how to develop themselves and to make a bunch of money in the strip club. And then, you know, they'll have their money to decide and then they can decide what they want to do later. Cause the way the shit is set up, Jessica, it looked like 
you finna hire some girls for the strip club. And, and it all goes down at Club Onyx here in Atlanta. Now, one of my gay homeboys before he passed away, rest in peace, one of my great friends, um, he used to do hair and makeup at Onyx. So I used to go down there and pick him up from time to time. And I would go in the back in his dressing room. And the bitches be back there. He be doing a makeup and hair. But bitch, so I'm very familiar with Onyx. So my thing is, I, it seems like it would be more like, bitch, y'all get y'all shit together. Get your money together. Let's take Onyx to the next level by having some of the baddest bitches. And, and, I, and I give y'all the game. You know, it's like some of these bitches just got here. Some of these bitches don't want to leave. <laughs> Jessica, made one, Jessica made one girl leave because the girl said she don't want to leave the strip club. <laughs> Jessica said, well, why? She said, you've been dancing for how many years? And I think the girl said like 15 years. And she was like, well, when, do, what you want to do? You want to leave? She said, I don't want to leave. I love dancing. It's a form of fitness for me. I get to meet people. I get to feel sexy. And she was like, and I also have another job that I work. And I just love dancing. And I said, exactly. Some people really love the art of being in the strip club, the social part of being in the strip club, the, you know, the, the body work, the pole dancing, like everybody is not there because they struggling and a pimp is pimping them out. So, you know that, and you know, a lot of people don't talk about that side of it. Females who actually enjoy the dancing art form, they enjoy pole dancing, you know, they enjoy the attention and they want to be single and they can date right out of the club if they want to. Everybody ain't hoeing out the club. Some bitches are really like dating guys and, you know, whatever the fuck, you know, out of the club. Anyways, so you guys may get a little confused as to what's going on, but she's taking the bitches out of the club. But like I said, I think that she should just um help to develop the bitches that are in the club and help them to get a million dollars in that hole and then get out because these bitches ain't got no money to be living <laughs> bitch you ain't got no money to be leaving the club these hoes ain't got no coins to be leaving the club jessica you finna set these bitches up for failure <laughs> jessica you finna set the bitches up for failure if you to my they need to get out the club right now and, and they don't got that kind of money. You need to help them to get money in the club, stack it, make sure they stacking their shit. You know, if I would give any advice from my experience, I would say, I wish I would have saved more. But it's like when you first start getting money, bitch, you want to wear them name brands, bitch, you want a badass car, bitch, you want, it's like everything you never had, bitch, you want that shit. <laughs> like, can't nobody just tell you, you know, but some women are smart. I've met some women out there that actually did save from the jump. They really, really saved, saved. Do you know how many millions of dollars I made in the strip club? Girl, I mean, you make so much money. Anyways, but you blow it and you blow it and you spend it. And I think that that should have been more what it was about her mentoring the girls, getting them top notch dancing, you know, getting them better wigs, teaching them, have somebody come in, teach them how to do their makeup, have them go to the next level at Onyx. And then when they stack 100K, check back on them and then tell them, you know, to leave the industry then. You know, I'm just saying it's kind of hard to tell a motherfucker to leave their job and they fucking broke. But anyway, so we're going to go out, listen to what Jessica had in mind for the girls. Remember, no matter what you do, though, take Christ with you and you will make it out. OK, dream big. You might discover you can fly. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. It's, yeah, and it's nothing wrong with still dating. I'm not knocking nobody hustle, yeah. but I'm not. So yeah. I want to show whoever want, who looks at me and look up to me and be like, damn, I want to get a move like how you be moving. Yeah. This time I move. Yeah. 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 I'm giving them yeah. a recipe. I'm giving them a recipe. It, it's yeah. free. Yeah. Yeah. It's free. I'm giving it up free. I don't mind. Yes, period. You know, I'm, I'm blessed. Yeah. I don't have nobody you are. helping people yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and again, it ain't yeah. no shade. It's yeah. just more so like, I just feel like dancing is not something. You ugly motherfuckers ain't finna be mocking me while I'm